What's up, what's up, mga kalyo? New day, new whip! Okay, you might be wondering, why am I speaking in English? Why in the kingdom of Kakalyo am I speaking in English? Huh? <laughs> you might also be thinking, oh, it might be the wrong channel. Oh my god, I might switch it on the wrong channel. Am I in the wrong channel? Am I in the wrong channel? Nope, you're in the right channel. You are in the right oh, yeah. channel. I want you guys to know that I really read your comments and suggestions. One of your comments is this. What I can say, oh, yeah. it's long overdue that I want to speak in Honey? English, you know, I'm just thinking maybe this is not the right time, but now it's the right time to communicate to you guys. I know that some of you guys can't understand or can't speak oh, yeah. Tagalog. I also remember one time that I read a comment saying, I love your channel, but really I can't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want this channel to grow. I want to reach the farthest part of the world internet signal could reach. Where there's a person like you, like me, who wants to listen, who wants to learn, interact with fellow artists about his thoughts in the world of art. Ah, wow. Such a huge imagination there. Really? This is my reaction to your artwork, part 7. Boom! Okay, let's start. Our first artwork is uh, from uh, Joseph. He's 19 years old and he used a uh, colored pencil for this one. Oh, well, yeah. what I like about this artwork is the reflection. He made it look like a realistic symbiotic element. Look at the drool, man. It looks real. <laughs> Good execution there. <laughs> this art looks almost uh, superb except the layout. Because the tongue it was cut off in the drawing. If that's the case, some might wonder that is cut off. Well, the solution will be um, make the drawing 50-50. 50% showing the head and 50% showing the entire tongue. Wow! Look at those teeth! <laughs> it seems real! Goosebumps! <laughs> Our next artwork is uh, from Patrick. He's 21 years old. Okay, use makeup for this one. One of the traits an, an artist should have is uh, to be courageous in exploring different mediums. Well, this artwork, this is a bold move Honey? using makeup. And it really came out oh, good. Yeah. Okay, you might say, come on, he used colored pencil for the outline. There. But, you know, using makeup for the, for the volume of the nose, the jaw, it's really difficult. One advice though, um, you should have uh, maximized the... Uh, material which is uh which is the makeup by making the um, dark area much darker you can do that by using brown and black apart from that it's all good oh yeah the proportion is good i like it Panis. oh yeah okay our next artwork is from lu xiao pen he's 18 years old and he used a colored pencil and white signal for this one wow another marble character oh yeah Look at those details, man. You know that feeling that you could actually feel the entire texture Honey? of it? You could actually feel them in this artwork. <laughs> Minor adjustment for me is uh, mm, mm, make the chest part more prominent, adding a uh, bulk to the pectorals. Oh, yeah. And the bridge of the nose um, should have a downward slope oh, yeah. to emphasize the nose. That's it. Overall, this is good. Good artwork. Our next artwork is from Teo Ramil. He's 15 years old. Wow! Let that sink in. 15 years old. <laughs> I thought this is just a, a picture. It's that good. <laughs> if you have not mentioned the materials, charcoal i would think it's just a picture you know what well, what's amazing about this artwork is uh the face uh the perspiration look realistic oh yeah look at the chin man <laughs> the plastic on the face is stretched it's difficult to do that man oh, hey. it is very detailed you need a lot of dedication to pull it off <laughs> lab kuto <laughs> Medyo lumalambot yung tibig ko. Malambot yung gila ko, no? So. <laughs> Kawin natin yan. Tuloy na natin. Okay, our next artwork is uh, from Kent Joshua. Okay, um, he's 19 years old and 
You use colored pencil on craft paper. This is almost 100% excellent except for one thing. I will discuss first uh, what is the 99%. The eye and the mouth is uh, well proportioned. I like it. Uh, actually, you convinced me that this character is from the sea. You know oh, what? Yeah. This artist don't do oh, shortcuts. Hey. <laughs> All of the details is there. Look at the hat, man. He did not just use blue. He added green to make it mossy. It really looks like he came under the sea. <laughs> Pirate under the sea. That's odd. Well, about the 1%, I think um, the 1% is uh, you can add effects like uh, it's wet, Aww. it's slimy. You know, maybe you can add some highlights or uh, reflections or wet look uh, reflections, something like that. Something like um, uh, there's a water coming out from his mouth or from his skin. Because he's a character of the sea, right? Other than that, it's perfect. I love it. Panis. Panis. Okay, this artwork is from Christian Well. He's 18 years old and he used a uh, colored pencil. Wow. Wow, yes. Wow, yes. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. That is scary, man. When you get to see this kind of artwork, you have to level up your analysis. It's almost perfect, but uh, you know, <laughs> I need to find the fault <laughs> that I can comment. Okay, guys, look closely. The fangs. The fangs are good. Look at those gums, man. It's real, man. <laughs> well, this is well executed. It's it's really scary. I'm actually scared looking at this one. <laughs> the alien eyes give me goosebumps. I can suggest for this artwork is um, the gun, which is uh, a little off. Add more details and make it more. Oh yeah. You know, more realistic. Also the neck. Uh, add some details instead oh, hey. of pure black. Other than that, it's perfect. Well, that's it. Nothing more. Funny. Wow. Okay, our next artwork is from Gerald Persia. He's uh, 23 years old and he used uh, oil pastel for this one. Wow. Wow, just wow, wow. I used too many wow today. <laughs> Look at the artwork. It seems uh, the artwork is uh, is just playing with a splash of colors. Okay. But let me analyze this based on what I have studied. Well, colors have uh, meanings. Oh, hey. For this painting, um, it seems this is not a sky. It serves as a mood or feelings of the subject. Look at the subject Honey. here. A girl and a dog. The red shade is near the subject. It means a strong relationship between the girl and the dog the red fades to blue until it's uh, monochromatic with a yellow shade okay blue symbolized doubt or uncertainty mixed with yellow which means hope but there's one thing to improve here is the grass because it is steep looking Aww. other than that this is good and that's how you analyze a painting <laughs> Okay, this painting is from uh, August Punsal, one of my favorite uh, abstract painters in here in the Philippines. Um, he used acrylic on oh, canvas. Yeah. Another deep abstract from August. <laughs> I will just analyze the composition of the, this painting. Oh yeah. This kind is a uh, balance. If, if you divide this into two parts, Horizontally, the, the bottom part is heavy detailed. Oh, hey. The shades, the shapes, there's no space. And the upper part balances the whole painting with just uh, wavy lines. The way you see it, it evokes emotion of unity of sky and earth. Nabili na pato August. I love it. Later. Once a philosopher said, as an artist, we should be open to criticism and learn from it. If we will not improve or level up, we would be boring. Joel Kalalo. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, our next artwork is from Sherilyn Irojo. Red ball pen on band paper. The attempt to make a 3D is almost there. 
the shadow, perfect perspective of the white paper, the clean cut edges of the head of the snake. Funny! But the locking would be the background. If you will make the background black, it will look uh, bare. For me, I think a uh, black background don't work on 3Ds. I suggest uh, use wood pattern, oh, yeah. uh, stone or cement to make it pop up. Okay, maybe just to give you an example, uh, these are my artworks. Uh, on this artwork, I use uh, the texture of wood. On this artwork, I use a background of uh, cement texture. Okay, let's go back to your artwork. <laughs> Look at the snake scales. Wow, that is good. Keep it up. Nice start. Okay, our next artwork is from John Doe. Um, he's uh, 21 years old and he used graphite and colored pencil. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! What can I say about this? Hmm. Wala! It is good. I wouldn't do it other way. When you do some uh, black and white and uh, add some characters with colors, hmm. It suggests that uh, they must be the alpha or the leaders of, of a group. Honestly, there's nothing to improve in this artwork. <laughs> it's like um, a professional work. And you're, and you're just 21 years old. Wow. The shading, the overall composition is good. I like it. You know what? It reminded me of uh, 80s movie billboards. You cannot reference that of my age. No. Hey, I don't know this. Pero masasahan din tayo. Request eh. <laughs> Our next artwork is uh, from Matt Masinading. He's uh, 19 years old. Game of Thrones! Woo! This artist is hard working. <laughs> Look at all those details, Kakalyo. <laughs> so much details. <laughs> One thing to improve is the transition of dark to light on the face. It looks edgy. Oh yeah. The solution would be to add colors um, between between two colors. Example, uh, the black uh, put brown, so it will oh, look hey. smooth. There's nothing more to add. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Woo! Game of Thrones. <laughs> Well, this artwork belongs to uh, Lucky Ian. The artist who did this, uh, I think, <laughs> wants to show uh, well-detailed elements with small space. You want size reference? Look at the brush. <laughs> One argument among uh, watercolorists is that uh, the use of white, uh, the use of white paint, you oh, should yeah. or you should not. Well, in my opinion, it depends on the outcome of the artwork. If it will result for a much better piece, well, do it. I do both. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one um, didn't use white. Also, he does not uh, rely on uh, readily available colors in the palette. Um, he mixes and put together his own shades. <laughs> si Paga, let that sink in. <laughs> Our next artwork is from Rad Cal. Okay. Um, the materials that he used for this one is Faber Castell and Jelly Roll White Pen. This is my favorite uh, character in Mobile Legend. Although I don't play Gushon, but I like the groove. You know, I like the the I like the movement. I love oh, yeah. the I love the look. I love the the costume, especially the hair. I love that. I like it. He made uh, his version of Gushon instead of doing something like a darker shades of the jacket he made a little bit of blue oh yeah instead of copying the color of the inner vest uh, to make it uh, look like that he make it a little bit lighter also the gold one the gold uh, armor on the arm is a little bit lighter it's like copying something from the internet and then you add a little spice in it to make it your own version Funny. that's creativity i like it Okay guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also hit the like button now. Hanggang sa susunod mga kalyo. Paalam!